This is a city where the world comes together. This is a city where we work together, we live side by side, we celebrate Black History Month, we celebrate Latino Heritage Month, we celebrate the many peoples who have made LA and America the great city and country that it is. His faith in and commitment to the peaceful destiny of South Africa earned him the 1984 Nobel Peace Prize. He's worked tirelessly to spread peace, justice, and democracy, and to end racial divisions and all divisions throughout the world. He rose to fame in the 1980s as an opponent of South Africa's system of apartheid, a policy of racial segregation involving political, legal, and economic discrimination. Thou know so very, very much. about racism, which says the thing that makes any one of us important is the color of our skin. It determines how we are treated by the police, where we may live, what schools we can attend, whom we can marry, basically, this determined by your ethnicity. They didn't, they didn't embarrass them to put notices, public notices that said dogs and natives us. Dogs and natives not allowed. Apartheid. Whether you are uh, substantial, <laughs> whether you are our class speaker size, whether you are beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> Clever, foolish, fantastic, it says about each and every one of us. You matter. You are of infinite worth. Do you know that? Infinite worth is worth that cannot be computed because each single one of us is created in the image of God. And, and you here, my dears, you young people, have some tremendous, tremendous role models. You've got some of the people here. Your mayor, if when you are a Hispanic, you realize, hey, it is possible for those of us who have been pushed to the back of the line. It is possible for us to come up. He became a star in the 1960s. He has personally changed the face of music many times. He is Kurt. He won two Grammys last weekend. Add to the 12 other Grammys that he had before.